The National Identification Authority says up to 110,000 Ghanaians are currently being investigated for allegedly attempting to register multiple times onto the Ghana Card Register. Appearing before the Assurances Committee of Parliament, Executive Secretary of the National Identification Authority, Professor Kenneth Etuafwa, also revealed there are currently nearly 18.2 million Ghanaians who've been enrolled onto the register, but almost 560,000 cards are yet to be issued to registrants. Let's take you to Parliament, where Parliamentary Affairs Correspondent Kweku Asante is standing by with more. Kweku, it's good to connect with you. Now, what are the details of this new plan by the NIA to now register all Ghanaians living abroad? Well, according to the executive the, uh, secretary of the NIA, they believe that they've covered a large chunk of the eligible population in Ghana and that it is now time to go out there and register Ghanaians who are living abroad. They are starting from Canada, Ottawa, and as far as they are concerned, about 10 of their staff are going to travel by the end of this week, either the weekend or at the start of the new week, to start a pilot stage to register persons who are eligible but are not in the country as of now. They see that so many citizens who are currently outside of the country, are expected to be enrolled or they are starting in Canada, they'll move on to the United States before they come to Europe. And so that is now the ambitious drive that the NIA is embarking on to ensure that Ghanaians who are living abroad are registered onto the National Identification Register. On the uh, investigation for those allegedly attempting to register multiple times, is there any updates on that? Well, no, he's just been giving the figures to the parliament committee because they demanded it, more than 10,000 persons that he says have been investigated. We understand that when the investigation is concluded and any adverse findings are made against these persons, they'll be referred to the police for prosecution. Thank you so much, Kweku Asante, our parliamentary affairs correspondent coming to us live from parliament. Now the